While organizing small stationary items is simple, it's not always obvious where to keep the bits and pieces of stationery that accumulate on your desk and elsewhere. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Hello Organized. This video will give you a few ideas to get you started with efficient stationary organization. Before we move on to the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to Hello Organized if you haven't already. Make sure that the post notifications are turned on so that you never miss a video from us. Let's jump in. Number 1. Storing Paper in Paper Trays Paper trays are one of the most useful stationary storage containers and they are also really cute. They can be used to store almost any type of paper and they help organize your desk by keeping all important documents in one location. Paper trays are essential for desk organization, whether used for books, journals or loose paper. There are several different colors of paper trays available. Number 2. Stationary Storage Drawer Dividers your desk drawers are a complete mess and you require assistance. Clear storage drawer dividers are the ideal solution for saving time and space. You'll be able to see what's inside each drawer with these clear plastic dividers. There are sizes for every type of drawer so you can find the perfect fit for your needs. Dividers also help to keep your desk clean by reducing clutter. Number 3. Use a hanging closet organizer to store extra office supplies. If you don't have a lot of storage space, get creative. A hanging closet organizer, whether mounted on the door or a rolling rack, provides instant storage for extra office supplies, while taking up less space than a bookcase or heavy desk. Choose a clear organizer to make finding what you need even easier. Number 4. A rolling cart next to your desk adds storage and surface area. A rolling cart can be used to store extra pens, papers, and other office supplies in your workspace. The goal is to increase the size of your workspace. So try to keep it at or near the same height as your desk for a more seamless flow. Rolling carts are portable, allowing you to move them from one location to another as needed and they also provide convenient extra storage. Hide it next to your desk with a few cups or jars on top of storing everyday supplies. Getting what you need is now easier than ever. Number 5. Cover a wall and pegboard for customizable storage. By installing a pegboard behind your desk, or on any wall in your home office, you'll have an infinite number of places to hang supplies, photos and other decor. Larger office tools can be hung with nails, while small baskets are ideal for storing smaller supplies such as pens, markers and tape. Go nuts! Number 6. Add elastic to a pegboard to create a flat, viewable bookshelf. Bookshelves can take a lot of room, but you still need somewhere to put your books. Rather than using heavy, traditional book storage, Grab a pegboard and some elastic and hang magazines or books for easy viewing and grabbing. It's almost completely flat, so it won't take up much space. Number 7. Mount a coat rack above your desk to hang headphones and other tech at arm's reach. A simple coat rack mounted above your desk is ideal for hanging bulky items such as headphones, cables and cords. And other tech that you don't want to clutter the surface or drawers of your desk. Number 8. Use silicone cupcake liners to organize small objects. In the spirit of borrowing from the kitchen, try silicone baking cups for storing small office supplies like paper clips, push pins, and binder clips. They'll keep all your small items organized and also are very cute. Number 9. If you can't mount storage on the walls, lean a tall organizer. If you don't want to nail shelves to your wall, you don't have to give up creative storage options. Try propping up a tall organizer with pockets and compartments on your desk and leaning it against the wall. Most people prefer Uton Silo, but you can also use a modular piece or make a do-it-yourself model. Number 10. Use a clamp-on task lamp to maximize desktop space. Extra lighting in a home office is always a good idea, but a desk lamp or a floor lamp takes up a lot of valuable space. Try a clamp-on lamp on the side or above your desk instead. All the lights you need without taking up valuable workspace. Number 11. If you use storage boxes, make sure you label them. We adore storage bins for everything, but what good are they if you can't find what you're looking for? If you're utilizing storage boxes, use a label maker to label them with what's inside. Get some storage boxes and name them if you don't already have any. Number 12. Add wall pockets to the sides of furniture for extra paper storage. If you don't have enough space for a filing cabinet or a chest of drawers, wall pockets are an excellent place to store papers and notes. Simply attach them to the sides of a piece of furniture and boom, more storage! Number 13. A cute tray can elevate desk necessities into a design moment. 
Desk trays aren't simply useful for storing things close at hand. They can offer some style to your workspace. Add a few storage clips and knickknacks to a tray that suit the atmosphere of your work, and you've got yourself an upgrade. Number 14. Turn paper clutter into wall decor. All those postcards, notes, photos, and certificates that are collecting dust and taking up room in your drawers have no place there. Glue them to your wall for immediate decor and extra desk space. Number 15. Mount boxes on the wall instead of shelves. Mount boxes on the wall above your desk instead of standard shelving for a distinctive aesthetic and a little more space. Just keep everything you use on a regular basis within easy reach. Number 16. Repurpose a utensil organizer as a drawer divider. A multi-compartment utensil organizer is an excellent method to keep minor stationary items from becoming crowded. Keep it in a drawer so you can quickly get to the goods you use the most. Number 17. Store often used things in cups on a Lazy Susan. Who doesn't like a good Lazy Susan? Place it at the edge of your desk or even the back section of a shelf to keep everything within easy reach without taking up too much space. Have fun spinning! Number 18. Use magnetic knife strips for so much more. Magnetic strips are a great method to store just about anything metal, and they won't take up any room on your desk or in your drawers while still allowing you to get to what you need quickly. Metal rulers, scissors, even metal staplers and paper binder clips can all be used in yours. Number 19. Make bigger items fit in a small drawer by building a diagonal drawer organizer. Put on your DIY hat and make your own diagonal drawer organizer. If you're having trouble fitting large goods into a tiny drawer, the organizer will allow you to keep these materials in just about any drawer that the organizer will fit in. Number 20. Look for cheap storage containers. During sale season, go to locations like the dollar store, thrift store, or stationery store. Look for non-stationery storage containers that you wouldn't think of storing goods in. Small bathroom containers with no handles are a fantastic option. Purchase six containers and sort them by type. Such as pens, highlighters, pencils, staples, rubber bands, smaller objects, and erasers. Then obtain some paper, write out the categories, and tape it to the board. You may also organize them using chalkboard paint. Number 21. Use mason jars. See if you have a spare mason jars lying around, particularly large ones. This is a quick solution that can also add a personal touch to your desk or office. Label the mason jars with the items that will be placed inside. Use whatever you wish to decorate or add a splash of color. Number 22. Use your artistic flair. Finally, wish to be more creative? Changing the ordinary into something exciting is always entertaining, and it can also be tailored to your interests. Find a sturdy cardboard box, preferably one made of wood, but any plain box of any size with a lid would do. Recycled paper should be used to cover the box and lid. Paint the box and lid in a color that complements the box's material. Paint over the thick cardboard while that dries. To make a segment, place the tough cardboard inside and fasten it with whatever manner is most convenient, such as glue or mounting putty. Cut to fit your box's shape and size. Rep till the box is divided into the desired number of portions, Make the box your own by adding little images, stickers, and other embellishments, or leave it as it is. With these few smart ideas, you'll have an organized stationery that helps you stay productive and focused on the most important task at hand, taking care of your work. That's all for today's video. Subscribe for more content just like this one and share it with your friends. And don't forget to like and share.